I'm just really excited. Like, I'm so passionate. I like this song. That's all I could think about when I was riding the bike. 22 ounces of watermelon. Hi guys, tomorrow I was planning on filming a full day of eating and training and I was gonna like film me making breakfast in the morning and then my manager texted me and was like, can you come in seven to noon tomorrow? So that means I have to wake up extra early. One thing about me is I'm gonna get my full amount of sleep. Like I will do anything to save my sleep in the morning. So I'm gonna actually make my breakfast now and I'm gonna make scrambled eggs. My usual, my go-to, you guys already know. But it's just easier for me to make them now so I can sleep in a little bit longer. Let's cook those eggs right now instead. Butter instead of Pam. It's 6.40 right now. First thing I do in the morning is drink whatever is left of my water bottle. And then I always have coffee. It's 6.45, so I was leaving like one minute, so I'll talk quick. But it's my go-to breakfast. I put a little bit more cheese than I usually do just because I was counting my macros for today and I needed some more healthy fats. So for the purpose of the video, I'm going to put the macros of everything that I eat on here. <laughs> Where's my phone? Use at my fitness pal for everything a free easy app to use. So as far as protein in this, there's 52.5 grams and that's combined a little bit with the coffee too. With that and then the little bit of protein that I used. Carbohydrates in this is 4.8 grams, so it's really low. Fats for this is 27.6 grams. Super low carb breakfast. Usually I'll save that for lunch and dinner. Um, yeah, I have to go. Let's go to work. I'm wearing a bathing suit underneath this, I promise. 12 16. I just got home from work, so I'm going to make lunch. I'm on my second bottle of my 32 ounce water bottle, and I'm not super hungry, but I want to eat something because I'm gonna go work out around like 2 2 30 ish. I actually had it packed because I was prepared to take it. We're gonna have rice cakes with tuna, and usually I have avocado when I eat it, but I'm having avocado tonight for my dinner. So all you need are two rice cakes. This will still taste good because it's ranch flavored. It's good, except I think my rice cakes are a little bit ex expired. This meal has 16 and a half grams of carbs, 17 grams of protein, only one gram of fat, but I got a lot of fat for my breakfast. And I usually have like a pre-workout meal, post-workout meal, so I'm gonna eat something after my workout anyways. Then I wanna talk a little bit about what my training looks like right now. As then you guys know, played college athletics. I've been an athlete forever. Yes, I love lifting and I started lifting seriously. Sophomore, junior year of high school when I got injured. That's kind of where I developed my love for the weight room. But with that being said, I'm training for a sport. I'm lifting to train like an athlete and two, I'm lifting on top of doing my actual sport. Trying to like balance the both of that. You're not lifting for yourself, your body. Usually the lifts are planned for you and things like that. I feel like my goals have always changed and when you're an athlete and preseason and postseason you're lifting but it's only three times a week total body lifts and then in season you're doing twice a week if that yes I've been lifting for a long time but not consistently not lifting the same muscle groups not lifting for appearance or aesthetic or for the way I want to look so this is the first time in like June when I decided I wasn't playing basketball anymore I get to do whatever and I felt like so many ideas on top of just being the, a type of person that trains for like the all or nothing mentality that I really was overtraining. I wasn't seeing the progress that I wanted to see because I was doing too many exercises or I was adding so many circuits and if I wasn't sweating enough or working hard enough, I feel like I wasn't making progress and that's not necessarily true. And that's something I'm trying to retrain my brain throughout this 12 week program that I did. This 12 week program is based on my current goals, which are to lose body fat, maintain my muscle, maybe grow a little bit muscle, but ultimately lose body fat and just develop lean muscle mass. 
this. So I'm at a pretty good position right now. I lost about, I lost 15 pounds from like just in the last year alone from playing basketball again. That was a good start for me. I feel like I still have a little bit of ways to go as far as like body fat percentage that I ideally want my percentage to be at. I am in a calorie deficit and I haven't decided if I'm going to do a full 12 week calorie deficit or I'm going to do like a mini cut, which is like four weeks in a deficit. And then that one week bump up to maintenance and then go back down. It just kind of depends on my energy because obviously staying in a calorie deficit for a, a prolonged period of time, your energy is going to get low at a certain point. I am counting calories, but I'm also really focused on my macros. My goal is about if you look at it like a pie chart and you have your three macro groups, your carbs, your proteins and your fats. My goal is 35% carbs, 35% proteins and about 30% of fats. Because of that, my macros are around like 170 grams of protein, 180-ish fluctuating grams of carbs. I love fruit and veggies. And then around like 60 to 70 grams of fat. You know, every day is not going to be perfect, but those are like ideally what I'm trying to get at. And then I'll weigh myself every day and take the average of that for the week because I'm a woman, my body fluctuates. As far as like my actual lifting program, I love lifting. I would lift six times a week, take one day off. But again, my mentality is kind of shifting where just because that's as much as my body can handle doesn't mean that's what is optimal. I am putting myself down to lifting only four days a week and three of the days is lower body focus and only one day is upper body because right now I'm not really focused on, I feel like my arms are pretty well developed. I have good shoulders. I don't really want to focus on my chest. I just kind of have smaller goals of like a more defined back, more defined triceps. My focus is kind of less of upper body. So I'm only lifting one day a week for that. Three lower body days and I'll kind of stay consistent with about like seven exercises in those. Sorry, I'm looking at like my note sheet right now. The two other days I'm doing cardio and, and like more ab focus. So I'll do like 10 minutes of just some stability core work and then I'll do like 45 minutes of cardio, just incline walking, list, low intensity, steady state cardio. Today I'm doing lower body. I'll kind of take you guys along with me for that workout and just kind of the setup that I do. I'm really trying to stick with the program and not deviate because I have a tendency to add additional exercises. I feel like I'm not working hard enough or whatever the case may be. I'm just trying to really figure out what's optimal for me because I was getting energy crashes. I was getting fatigued. I was losing sleep at night. Like those are all signs of being overtrained. So I really took this last week from vacation and just used it to do some research on how I want to set up my program and honestly just play around with things. Like this is the first time that I have no restrictions and I don't have a timetable of when I have to be done. But that's kind of like a really quick summary. I know I talked really fast. As far as like any other things, I'm trying to drink about 120 ounces of water a day, which I do consistently eight hours of sleep, which I take my sleep very seriously anyways. I've limited some foods, no alcohol. I'm stopped drinking Diet Dr. Pepper, which is really, really hard for me, but that is kind of more my preference because I've been having gut issues and I've had gut issues. Just trying to eliminate certain food groups that have specific ingredients in them, trying to limit seed oils. As far as like desserts, I'm not gonna restrict myself from them. If they fit into my calorie deficit plan, then I'm all for it. But but they don't necessarily always make me feel the best. Every day is not gonna be perfect and I'm not gonna be super hard on myself. I really do want to do my best. I know I'm capable of it. I'm just really excited. Like I'm so passionate and I just talk so fast about it because it just makes me so excited doing this and trying new things and I wanna take you guys along with me. I've been outside for like 30 minutes. Okay. This car started here. What are we in the mood to listen to to get us pumped up? I like this song. Now, on my way to the gym, I'm gonna have some cashew clusters. These are have almonds, pumpkin seeds. So, I'm gonna jam just like the Gomez. Let's go.
workout complete. I know the music's playing in the background, so I'll try and talk a little bit loud. How I structure my workouts is I do about six to seven workouts per lift. I'm breaking 12 weeks up into blocks. So I'm doing three blocks. Each block is gonna be four weeks once. First block or phase one, speed up metabolism and to build my muscle. I'm doing three sets of everything between six to eight reps. And in between each set, I'm giving myself a minute to three minutes. I'm really not good at waiting. So I do like a minute. Usually like, I pace around, I can't just like sit there on my phone, I hate that. The second phase or second block, which is the second four weeks, I'm doing three sets, eight to 10 reps. Now this is kind of adjusting my workouts, increasing my workload and strengthening my stamina. And I just feel like where I'm at and like psychologically what kind of workouts I like. I want that adaptability in my workouts instead of just staying consistent with one 12 week program. Phase three, I am focusing on sculpting and kind of like sharpening my muscle definitions. At this point, hopefully, I will be kind of like more lean and I'm doing three to five sets of everything 12 to 15 reps so I'm increasing the sets a little bit but I'm really really increasing the amount of reps that I'm doing because I have three lower body days lower by day one and lower by day three have the same exact workouts and then lower by day two is a little bit adjusted and I added in the trap bar split squats I don't have those program in for my day one and my day two instead I have box squats in place of the trap bar deadlift and then I have kettlebell swings in place of the Bulgarian split squats but the split squats were they were doing it this thing today so I might add those in I literally never say that and I hate split squats because my tendonitis but they were doing its thing and I really enjoyed it now I'm going to go home and I'm gonna make some yogurt I'm gonna put a lot of fruit in it I want to refuel with protein which is the yogurt but I really want to refuel with carbs too after my workout especially on like lifting days and my favorite absolute favorite source of carbs is fruit if you know me I could literally eat fruit for breakfast and dinner every snack I absolutely love watermelon and it's not something that I'm willing to give up. I eat a crap ton of it and I make sure that fits into my nutrition, my diet plan. Like I don't care how many amount of carbs it is, I don't care. Watermelon is a non-negotiable for me. Like it is my favorite fruit ever. So I'm just so excited to eat. That's all I can think about when I was riding the bike. And that's the other thing I wanted to say really quickly is the cardio part, really, really optional. I'm trained for aesthetics. I'm trained to look a certain way, but I'm also like in that weird spot where I'm training for longevity. It's recommended that you do about 150 minutes per week of zone two cardio work. I do total like 165 minutes per week. And that way the longevity aspect, I don't want to totally neglect it and only focus on my aesthetics because lifting is fun and all, but I also am doing it to live a healthy life. On my lower body days, it's strictly the bike, no incline walking because you know, interference. It's just a lot on my legs. Let's go home and make some post-workout yogurt and fruit and and we're gonna just enjoy every second of this. Non-fat Greek yogurt. I'll take a cup, zero it out. Three ounces of pineapple. Blueberries. I don't know. Half a cup of blueberries. A very small amount of honey. A mango yesterday. Three ounces. I was right. Yes, I'll eat this whole thing. But we're gonna measure out like 22 ounces. Which is honestly probably that. 22 ounces of watermelon. My yogurt. I have started adding chia seeds because it has a lot of fiber. And you're gonna need fiber. Two tablespoons. Chia seeds are also a really good healthy fat. Mix her up. All right, this is lunch. Yogurt, chia seeds, pineapple, blueberries, a little bit of honey, a crap ton of watermelon, and some mango. I told you guys, I could eat fruit for everything. Then, this is my third water, which I'm about to finish. I'm gonna drink some creatine. And let's figure out the macros for this bad boy. 20 grams of protein, which is a little bit low. 89 grams carbs. 8 grams fat. I need a new Netflix show to watch. Guys, any recommendations?
Dinner was a 10 out of 10, as always. It was an eight ounce, basically, piece of chicken, one summer squash and one zucchini, a sweet potato, a little less than two ounces of avocado, 80 grams of protein, 61 grams of carbs, 20 two grams of fat. That was what a full day of eating, working, and training looks like in my schedule right now. I start school in like two and a half weeks. Things are gonna change, but right now I'm just kind of getting into the groove of practicing good habits, physically and mentally, taking care of my body before I start my last semester of college. Week one, so far so good, and we will see you guys next week.